suggest further links between China and anti-Trump groups in the U.S. One America's Christian Rose examines those claims. China is still refusing to share the information we need to keep people safe. The U.S. intelligence agencies are continuing a probe into the origins of COVID-19 amid mounting evidence of a globalist conspiracy to establish sweeping population control. The virus has triggered devastating lockdowns across the advanced economies, and in this situation, experts say whoever controls the cure may control the future of humanity. And while the media, Democrats, and the deep state continue to dismiss hydroxychloroquine as a likely cure, they are pushing for a failed Ebola drug, Remdesivir, instead. When you take away a medicine, and not just the WHO, not just the WHO, the FDA, the CDC, Tony Fauci, close everything. Because we can take all that money they're making on their patents and we can give it to the victims of this plague of corruption. Recent reports claim the Remdesivir patent is controlled by mainland China, Bill Gates, and the WHO, while the Clintons may have a stake in it as well. The entire cover-up is allegedly backed by globalist billionaire George Soros. Such allegations have been dismissed by the mainstream media and China as a conspiracy theory, saying California-based Gilead owns a patent for Indesivir. But Gilead itself was reported as saying if it uses its own drug, it would get into legal trouble with China. According to the information we have now, Gilead Sciences indeed has applied for eight patents, and three of them have been authorized. Five of them are still under review. China reportedly holds parts of the Remdesivir patent through the UN agency UNITAID, whose main donor since 2006 is the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Separately, the Clinton Foundation also worked with UNITAID on a $100 million project to study HIV-AIDS in the past. UNITAID also has offices near the Chinese bioweapons lab in Wuhan, which top Republicans suspect was funded by none other than Dr. Anthony Fauci and the NIH. That was fooling around with this virus. Prohibited. Despite that, Dr. Fauci gave 3.7 million to the Wuhan laboratory. We paid for it. We paid for the damn virus that's killing us. The coronavirus conspiracy gained further evidence when Democrat Party officials openly sided with the Chinese Communist Party to denounce hydroxychloroquine as a likely cure. Chloroquine was developed in Germany in the 1930s, and most of it is made by German drug maker Bayer, which recently gave the US millions of pills for free to battle COVID-19. Some say Democrats attacked the drug only because President Trump spoke in support of it. But others point to a foreign trade aspect of it, saying Democrats want to get the COVID cure from China, not Germany or the EU. This is not about COVID or about a virus. This is about gaining control over the human race and limiting population. Limiting population with a virus that was created in a lab and funded by the United States of America by several people in the United States. The U.S. and its five vice intel partners point out COVID-19 broke out shortly after President Trump forced China into a phase one trade deal to reduce Chinese control of the U.S. economy. Now that China may be striking back, there is concern that the deep state, Democrat cabal and the big pharma are working to derail President Trump's re-election and force the American people into total submission and control. Christian Rose, One American News.